Hi guys, welcome to this video about the Brave browser and how you can use plugins or uh, install plugins to this really great browser. It has been emerging for uh, since a couple of years and now it is in a really good state and i think it's it, it's really in a stable condition and it's handling the uh, ads really good and you can even uh, earn some money while watching ad and you can earn while you create content and so on and so on and I, I think it's a really good idea uh, and it's based on the Chrome uh, browser. I think it's the Chromium or something like that behind. So it, it there is a really nice uh, similar feeling as the Chrome has, and it's even sometimes faster than the original Chrome from google but there's one thing if you download it and install it you will miss uh, your plugins here on the right top it will ask you while you install it it will ask if you want to import all the passwords all the bookmarks everything so i have now everything instead of the nice plugins which i was used on google chrome so here i'm back on the google chrome and as you can see i have so many of these things um yeah we can manage these extensions uh here they are called extensions yeah i i'm a little bit struggling <laughs> between extensions and plugins for me it's plugins maybe it's it's not so anyway yeah probably we are talking extensions anyway and yeah here you can see everything i have there are so many things and really useful things some i probably could get rid of because i'm not using them anymore but but there are so many useful things and i want to have them also on the brave browser so that was the thing which i was really missing in the last time so that was actually the reason why i was not using the brave browser and yeah first first big problem i had that was that i couldn't access to my gmail account but uh now i have solved that there's another video about that on my channel if you are facing same problem with the gmail account that can easily be solved but how to go to how to uh, install these extensions so I started doing uh, some research and I always came to some forums where they were discussing about technically uh, difficult things and workarounds and everything. And finally I found out that you can use the Chrome Web Store, the normal Google Chrome Web Store. Isn't that crazy? I mean, yeah, maybe you're in the same situation and you haven't been aware that you can just go to google web store i mean so here um i'll put down this link into the descriptions you can click on that right and use it right away and you have access i think to basically everything you can uh, search for everything in that store so actually it's uh, this url yeah i'll put down the link into the description and here you can search for everything like translation something like that this is really useful i'm using a lot of uh, i'm often using this google translate thing and i was really lost without that so if you find something here you can really just click on add to chrome and that doesn't mean it will be added to the original google chrome but it will be added to the brave browser as you can see on the right top i have my first extension and i can even use the options and tell uh, what to do what options like here in the uh, google translate if i want to have the immediate pop-up what language and so on and so i can go like to a website like C cnn and i click on that 
and it will automatically be translated which is awesome i was really missing that for me and so i will now start to add all the extensions or a lot of extensions which i had already on the google chrome so it's super super easy just use the link down in the description and yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching